Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a long shadow text with the use of Canva. I know you'll be wondering, wow, is this possible with Canva? Yes, it is possible with Canva. I'd like you to take your time, watch this video again and again, and I'll be right back with all the steps. welcome back yes it is possible so let's go to our workspace as we start the exploration right away it's very simple as i said there are lots of them online and um i'm talking about a lot of example of them you can google search and search what i'm talking about long shadow effect so i'm going directly to my canva.com Canva.com is the website. I'm going to be making use of. Um, I'm going to, let me look for template. I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this template. I want to, um, let me delete everything on this, and I'll be writing my name. I'm writing shop. And um, look for a bold, bold font. I don't think this is not bad. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, let me give it a background. I think I would like to, I would like to have a background, and my, my text also. Yeah, before I give this a, uh, my text. I need to give my text. Um, background also look for let me use white yep then i'm going to copy and paste this text copy and paste so um which one is on top this is on top this is below Changing this to because this is what I'm going to be using as my shadow. So I'll be using this as my shadow. I think um, um, the color is not too dark. Yeah, this is dark enough and mature. Yeah, and this is our book. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, this is how it's going to look like. Okay, and it's going to go down. So let me first take this and keep it aside then i want to control c control v v v v v v v v to the hand that is control c and control v that is i copy it and i paste it back in a very simple way this is possible so let's take this back on top this is going to be back on top and it's position forward. Okay, I think it's above everyone for now. Yeah, above everyone. Okay, now if you observe, it's not straight. So if this is not straight, the first thing I'm going to do, um, looking for different ways to do it in such a way that um, to just um, achieve this right away it's not straight but some people actually use it like this but i think not professional i go to my element and i click on grids now when you use grids um grid will allow you to you know let me drag it yeah wow grid is taking over feel of my space and i don't want it. So this is what i'm going to do or oh, can I drag down? Okay, working. Okay, so um, uh, what I'm going to do with this, you know, I can add color to this grid. 
so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on duplicate duplicate and um, i've duplicated this i want to add um, i need a solid color let me first delete everything here i need a solid color of what the exact of the exact background so i want to save this um, number two this is solid enough here yeah, solid number two save it as png then i will copy it back so okay save so let me delete or just leave it so i'll go to my upload and upload it back on my device I have partially downloading so I will I will add it in the grid actually download so what am I going to do to this I want to first uh, I want to slant this in such a way that I'll be able to use it to to cover some of this so I'm going to take my time to make sure that um, it is aligned So this is my major problem for now how will i take this back you know let me first um what i'm going to do to make sure i take it back is to let me add it as position i want to position this forward is it possible on top forward forward let's see yeah this is fine now and um, because this is very positive repeat because i will still need this keep it around here so this now position back and then after positioning back i observe i have this let me see whether if i i tell him to, okay okay so um this is one of the difficult parts which i'm going to be solving right now what i'm going to do is to look for a shape let me call this shape this time a small shape and um, let me add this color to this shape making sense good yep it's good to go so ctrl c ctrl v and then this is also another Not bad backward okay control c control v again position backward okay it's fine then i need one more yeah the last one let me first control let me first keep one before so this is it 
very simple and straightforward i know you take your time to explore this this is quite um quite fun you know canva can't actually achieve a lot but um with some of this exploration you can actually achieve a lot with canva so i'm going to save this now as um remember you can add um, a lovely background let me just go to my element and search um, gradient gradient i actually like to use a um, gradient color because um, it makes my work professional let me look for the size exactly the size of mine okay this is not bad so i position this wow okay the only problem i have here is um, this i will have problem with this that means i can look for a way to position this backward so we can find solution to this but i actually like this background if not for that this will have this will have actually been my best background so far so you can keep exploring as you will be able to unlock a lot through the use of canva thank you very much for your time spent with me the next thing i'm going to do maybe let me just delete this and use it like this so what i'm just going to do now is to save it as png then pick the page page two make sure you know i want to save multiple pages you pick the, the space you or the page you want to um, save so i download after downloading um that's it then the next thing let me show you my work the work through this and let me upload it upload upload from So this is the work as you can see this is lovely so give it a try i will be expecting more comments from you as i guide you through the use of canva thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate so thank you bye